ignore my hair, it's not very straight because I don't have time or energy to straighten my hair properly. So, I'm not going to ramble on in this video, hopefully, but I don't know. Subscribe down below and leave comments of video requests. I can't open it. I don't understand how people can't open cans with uh, acrylic nails. Can't open it. And if you can't, can't open it. Here's what you're supposed to do. You just get your thumb, like the side of your thumb, and then, I love Coke. Mm. Today's video is going to be a haul. The actual total price of all of it all together is like 20 pounds so it's not like an expensive haul but i actually got quite a few things so in this bag is the things that i have bought can you tell what this haul is of can you can you can you so this is a primark haul amazing fashion amazing amazing prices anyway without further ado we're gonna get on with the video <laughs> Tan. Bondi sand. Ignore my hand, but Bondi sand. Okay, this is the thing that I bought a few weeks ago, but I'm going to include it because it's from Primark. So, and I didn't include it in my last haul because I forgot about it, to be honest. And it's just a bandu black top, and it's actually so thick, like you can't see through it. Like, look, my hands under it. And you literally can't see through it, which I love because it's like a th thicker, like double material thing, which I love, definitely. And the fit is so good as well. And the length, actually, the length is really nice as well. Like it just comes up to the same size as this top. So it's good with high waisted jeans or a skirt or whatever. But yeah, I tried this on with that skirt that I got in the last haul. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna buy it. Like I just wanted to see what it looked like with a black crop top. But then I ended up buying this because guess how much this was? Three pounds. How could I not buy it if it was three pounds? Three pounds for a top. What? And I just thought like when I go on holiday, I can just shove this on over a bikini or just wear it for like even the nighttime with my hair curled, you know? Pounds. I got it in size extra small, which is supposed to be a size like six slash eight. The next thing that I got is maybe a little bit boring, but I find it really exciting, so yeah. You know the small circular cotton pads from Primark? And they last me forever, they were like a twin pack for a pound. Well, I have came to an end of those, so I needed some new ones to remove my makeup, because that's what I remove my makeup with. They're not the normal cotton pads that I had last time. They are the oval cosmetic pads they're bigger so they're better for getting your face you know bigger surface area more more area to remove yeah so i got these and i'm actually so excited to use them i don't know if anyone else but i love the feel of them like i love it that's maybe a bit weird apparently made from soft and absorbent 100 percent cotton Suitable for the most delicate skin, low fleecing, and suitable for cosmetic uses. Perfect. Um, oh, the other thing that I really liked about these, they're only 90 pence. Not a pound, 90 pence. And that is a pretty big, pretty big uh, size, isn't it? Like, you get a lot in there. How many is that? A hundred. You get a hundred for 90 pence. So I didn't get just one of these, I got two, because I was like, for 90 pence, can you go wrong? And I've got 200, so these are gonna last me forever. Put that from me. Okay, the next thing that I got, are you ready? Are you ready? Another thing to do with my, my face, or my hands. Actually, these have more of a general purpose, but yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna show you instead of talking. I got the 
wipes that Primark do, but I got the cute, cool as a cucumber one because I haven't used wipes from Primark before. The last ones were simple wipes and I've lost them, so I needed some new ones. And whilst I was in Primark, I was like, why not? And it's a pound for both. For a twin pack, it's only a pound. And in each pack, you get 25 in each. So 50 altogether for a pound. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just went for these ones because I thought cucumber probably smells nice and feels nice on your skin. It says facial cleansing wipes for all skin types and it's enriched with cucumber extract, dermatologically tested. Just ignore that little black thing that you can see in the corner. I'll explain that in a minute. But then I got two lip liners, not one, but two. And they're in different shades, but they look similar. The lip liners from Primark, I mean, I guess it depends which ones, but these ones are only a pound each, which I think is pretty good because normally they're like four pounds from Superdrug for one. And I saw someone in a YouTube video saying like Primark lip liners are the way to go because they're so cheap and they work. So I was like, if they work and they're cheap, I'm going to do it because I don't have that much money, believe it or not. And they actually have like specific shades as well that you can read on the little label. So this one is Velvet Touch. This colour is Velvet Touch. I don't know if you can see that that well, but yeah. And then this one is Taup, Tape. I don't know how to say that. T-A-U-P-E. However you spell that word. Uh, not spell, however you say that word. And it just looks like a more nudie, so... The velvet touch is a bit more purpley, and then the tape, whatever, is a bit more nude, you know? I thought these were both quite neutral, like they'll go with the lipsticks that I usually wear, because I normally wear either liquid lipstick or a lipstick that's really like moisturising, and I just want something to define my lips a bit more, so. And I never use lip liner, so I thought I may as well start using them, especially when they're only a pound, so. Yeah, I just got these for every day, kind of work, really. The final thing I bought from Primark today, like I literally got these before filming the video. The final thing I got is, drum roll please. Oh, a bag, and I, right, first of all, I used to, back in the school days, used to get like my school bags from Primark because they always used to break anyway, so I may as well get one that's just 10, 12 pounds. And I used to think Primark bags actually look all right. Well, I haven't had one of those from Primark in like ages. Like I have a little handbag, you know, like a little clutch bag, but not like a college bag or town bag, you know what I mean? Because I got a Michael Kors bag and I literally use this Michael Kors bag so much and the handles started to fray like little bits of material which i can just cut off which i'm gonna i'm not getting rid of my michael kors bag hell no i love my michael kors bag and it's in like a brown color but i just thought i need something to change it up because i've had it for college for ages now and at college i have to carry folders and books and it only just fits in my michael kors bag and it's a bit tight you know what i mean so i thought get a bag that's for college, you know, instead of trying to squeeze everything into my Michael Kors, just get this, you know, when I went into Primark. But then when I looked at these bags, I was like, oh my God, like there's a leopard print one, there was a green one, there was a stripy one, there was a brown one, like my Michael Kors one, there was a black one, there was um loads of different ones. And I couldn't decide between black or brown. But then I decided and came to the conclusion that because I have a brown Michael Kors bag, I may as well get a black, Primark bag like because the bag is the same style as my Michael Kors bag as well so instead of just getting like the exact same bag but you can't really tell any difference I got a black one you know so I got this bag and it is actually quite big like it's massive but I think it's quite a good size because a folder will literally probably be that size so my folder is just going to fit in there perfect and I'll be able to fit my science books in there easily stuff like that I'll just be able to all fit it all in way easier the only downside I'd say to this is there's no pockets in the inside. So, you know, like in my Michael Kors one, I like to keep like change in the little inside zippy pocket or just anything, nail glue, my pens and stuff. Because I don't have a pencil case. I should have got a pencil case. 
I'll worry about that later. But yeah, so this is the bag I got. I've got these handles. It's just a cute little tote. Are they totes? The ones that you just put on your little shoulder. Looks cute. It's plain black and yeah, it's got a bit of uh, gold detailing, but that's about it. It was, oh my god, this was so cheap. This was £8. Fact. I'm going to take the little thingy off the handle. And it has a one of these in it. I don't know what that's called. But yeah. And yeah, it doesn't have any pockets. And it's like a leather material. All of it. But yeah, look how big that is. I just like the empty space. Like That's exactly what I need for college. I'm excited. Like, I go back to college tomorrow after half term. But when you see this, it'll probably be already happened you know but it's perfect for going to Ben's as well because it's so big love that love that from this bag love that I don't know why I've got like I've had the small ones I've had the medium size ones but this is my Michael Kors bag by the way for anyone wondering look how cute it is and this one's so heavy you know it's just a bit bigger a bit better for folders and stuff oh I found it Found it. The last thing I want to show you and include in this haul is this lipstick. And although it's not from Primark, I just wanted to include it because I'm not gonna put it in a separate haul, you know. Um, the only reason I got this was because it was reduced from ten pounds to seven pounds. So I was like, oh, that's three pounds saving. I should do that because I've been wanting one of these for ages. It's the Superstay Matte Ink Maybelline New York. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see what. There you go. Looks like, and it's in the shade 65 Seductress. Oh my god. I can't really speak, to be honest, but yeah, it's in the shade 65. No, it's not even pink, it's like a matte nude. And to be honest, I love it. I wear it every day. The only thing I will say, it does go on your teeth when you first apply it. So yeah, if you're wondering what I was wearing on my lips throughout the video, and maybe in recent videos, it's probably this. And this was only seven pounds and I got it from Sainsbury's actually. Cause you know, they do like drugstore makeup in their little cosmetic section. Yeah. And that's when I got this. If you've never tried this chocolate, you need to try it. It is the best chocolate. Mm. Yeah, so I will see you in my next video. I don't know what it will be. I don't know when it will be. I don't really know much to be honest, but wish me luck for going back to college. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully it's not too long away. Bye. Thank you for watching.